So here we are with uh, the great Noel McCoy and the wonderful Phoebe Austin and Noel. What did you Duke. say, the old Noel McCoy? I know. <laughs> I actually said the great, but I can say the, the great old Noel McCoy if you like. <laughs> no, um, so hi guys. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? So, um, so uh, I'm going to let you guys just talk to each other because I think there's a lot of interest in what it was like for you and what it's like for you now, Phoebe, in the music industry as such as you grow. I guess it would have been like really great for me personally to have had like a, a music teacher because I've had teachers in the past mm -hmm. that have been really supportive, but a music teacher earlier on when I just started out who was really like supportive because yeah, I, I can understand how that would have really like because it, it does take that kind of really accepting kind of environment that pushes you forward. Yeah you, you know and as musicians as we are and when you're starting in this game you don't really know too much about it but you just know that you love yeah. and you're passionate about music and Mr Johnson he got it straight away and yeah. we performed to all our assembly groups and to this day you know I'll get stopped by um, some of the, the the young people. I didn't. I don't remember them. And yeah. they said, oh, "I remember when you played it." So it stays in people's minds. Yeah. You know? We were like thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did have non-music teachers um, who were supportive of what I was doing, but no, no one, I guess, no teachers that ever really a hundred percent understood what it was that I was doing. Like I could never get, I'd never had like such a close relationship with a music teacher that I could mm. like go f to them for like advice on mm. or help or if they then was never someone that helped like kind of push me upwards in what I was doing with music. Mm. And what I what I see in Phoebe is that your music, your stuff is more come from oppression, not like you've been beat down or whatever, but you, yeah. you've been encouraged at home obviously, but in your environment you weren't encouraged you know, like at school or by your peers even, you know, so yeah. you just kind of, you had to fight on your own, mm -hmm. right? Which is what a lot of us had to do, right? No, we had to fight to, to do it because we weren't encouraged. We were like, you know, go and be a plumber, go and be a, a butcher or whatever, you know, and which is great job. Well, but no, if, you're not knocking it, but that's yeah. not what you want. Yeah, but yeah. if you can do other things, you know, you want to do it. Um, re real musicians, real talent, real yeah. art comes from angst, comes from from drama, you know, it, it, it really does come from the struggle, whatever that struggle is that you yeah. have, you know? Definitely. Yeah. The artists who really do want to, um, who have something to say, like yourself, one so young, but already you know your worth, you know what you want to get across. So it's so important. It's part of the journey, yeah. which will make you um, stronger and wiser. One, one of the things I want to, um, uh, bring up is the fact that um no you you grew up in an era where we had reggae right yep. that was our main thing right and you went on to be with the, the james taylor quartet that was like fusion jazz that was acid jazz, acid yeah, jazz. You, you've done pop you've done written stuff for cliff richard you've done funk you've done all these different things mm -hmm. right and you you know um how do you feel about like ex expanding out of that you know that reggae uh, musical kind of uh, background. How how did you find people, your peers accepted that? And in relation to Phoebe as well, Phoebe, how do you feel you would want to expand? You know, uh, from your musical base as you go along. What other styles and vibes? You know, because you know, would you like to ex explore starting with you? With you? Um, well, you know. As I said, you know, I've been I've been always open in music. You know, I did a lot of theatre as well, and that opened my mind to a lot of things. And I wrote songs for theatre and stuff like that, just through being an actor, seeing how the whole thing moves. Um, nothing, I always nothing's. I love a challenge, mm. so I've I've done that, and I've worked, and I know a lot of great musicians um, who's helped me along the way. Donovan, people like him, who was classed as the folk in that folk revolution yeah. and I worked with his daughter and, and I, I've always loved his music as a kid to then work with him then to then work with loads of people Stevie Wonder now what I'm getting at is that um, I learned that music doesn't have any sort of like limitations or you know they say are you into this genre are you into this you know there's so many different tags for house music for instance there are so many for so I've always learned that 
it doesn't matter what the genre is, as long as I feel it, and if I feel it, it can be classical, you know, I've done operas, I understand if it, if it resonates inside, if it feels good, then I can relate, and then if I can help, if I can create, then so be it. So it doesn't have any limitations for me. In terms of what my peers might think about me writing for Cliff Richard, yeah, they take the pee a bit, but I'm the one who's collecting the royalties, I'm the one who's got the platinum disc, you know. But it's a laugh with Cliff Richard, because they always, that name, for some reason, they don't seem as hip or cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool. I think he's very cool. I grew up with he was Summer the, uh, Holidays. What, the the English yeah. Elvis Presley, yeah, you know, no, better, no, better looking. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, and uh, I used to watch all the movies with Cliff yeah. or whatever. I yeah, mean, man. Summer Holiday. And I, I, think, um, I think the problem with the, um, this, this is my opinion, we grew up and we watched the old westerns, the old musicals, you know, the, the, all the, the stuff, and as well as doing what we did. Yes. So we did reggae, we did funk, we did jazz, yeah. we were then to the new, but we, we so embraced what yeah, was already well, there. Yes, yes. Whereas right. I think there's a big detachment now with the youth. They don't know anything past uh, six, six weeks ago, really, or even six <laughs> months ago. I mean, am I correct about that? Do you, do you find that? Or am I just going <laughs> off on one as an oldie? Well, I mean, I would say that some, definitely some people my age are very kind of oblivious to some of the older yeah. genres like because obviously genres change a lot as time goes on so like if no one in my like classes would have listened to or watched any of really old films but I I like listening to I mean it wouldn't it's not really that old but like music that my nan listens to for instance so I wouldn't say there's necessarily a barrier but I say it's it is more common not to. Do you think that uh, listening to that old music, getting those influences from the past help you with what you're doing now? Yeah, 100%. I grew up m more listening to um, actually musical theatre, which is one of my like great passions. I really, really love musical theatre. But then I also would quite like to write slightly more country. Like there's a lot I guess pop, country and musical theatre are the three genres that I've had most to take from um, in songwriting and just, mm. yeah, just in general. Um, going back to what you said about the reggae influence, in Jamaica, where my parents come from, uh, country and western music is very much a, the main stay of music. So they're stories, as you know. So Jamaicans love good stories. and. Um, Fusing the Jamaican, uh, let's say patois, as it were, it fuses, it blends with anything. I mean, I, I I look at Jamaican music and the and the artists from there, they're so unique to the world, um, and that's got a lot to do with it because of that country and Western background from way back. Perry Como, any Western Western family home you go to back in the sixties, fifties, they all got Perry Como. Frank Sinatra. I grew up on Frank Sinatra, Doris Day, the whole, yeah. the same like you said, loving musicals, love musicals. Yeah. That's what I grew up on. So Phoebe, if there's any question you want to ask Noel right now. I guess um, one question would be like how you think your songwriting um, has changed one while you've like discovered new like genres and mm -hmm. been working with different people. Do you think your songwriting style has changed a lot mm. question I'd say all right when I my first album I put out with my brothers and sisters were called McCoy the first album was called Full Circle and the songs from Full Circle were about where I came from etc etc so I coined the phrase I called it spiritual social soul and, and my whole journey in life has been with youth. I've got a youth company. I've always worked with the youth and encouraged them, etc. Um, mentored and all the stuff. So I think my lyrical content, the things I write about has changed. But in terms of um, subject matters and stuff, it's, mm -hmm. more, it's, it's kept in that kind of um, people. I love to yeah. know what people feel real emotions what people feel i write about that sort of stuff but at the same time if i'm asked to write for like um, running loose which was a, a tv program for children's itv 
I write about what the children are. I find that kind of right. If you tell me to write about this, I can do that like quick. Mm. When I'm writing songs for myself or maybe for Cliff Richard or something, I have to, it takes me longer. And it, yeah. it's, it's the same amount of, you know, it's two and a half, three minutes. You know, it's yeah. really two minutes because you repeat the choruses. It's really yeah. a minute and a half, a lot of songs. But you've got to find that right lyric, right melody, right yeah. emotion. You know what I'm talking about. So to answer your question, it hasn't changed that much, you know. Yeah. But I can adapt to, if you give me a subject matter, mm. I find I'm better, quicker to write songs like that. I've always wondered, like, when I, as I grow up, kind of surrounded by a lot of different people, and in like different genres how my songwriting style would change and if it would yeah but I, uh, yeah at the moment I'm not sure whether I want to stay behind kind of writing for other people because I I completely see how that would be really great in a lot of aspects because you get to put your kind of opinion out into the world without really getting the backlash for it but then also I always really loved the idea of being able to do the touring and the yeah the Get to being able people. to connect with people yeah, yeah. You know 